Good morning, fans, Privateer FX. Coming at you on the Thursday, 9 January. Crazy day yesterday, wow. Equities um, up 80 handles. Uh, dollar yen went from 107.62 uh, to 109.20. It's not, say, uh, 160 point move. Um, big, big day, big, big reversal for risk. Uh, let's take a look at the equity charts first. We're, we're about to make new highs here again today. Trading up at 65. Um, we talked about it earlier in the week. This was the key chart, this doji here. Uh, in an unusual turn of events, we broke the lows violently. Uh, now we're breaking the highs. I would say uh, against the grain here, it's a little bit weaker breaking the highs here after we've broken the lows. Uh, normally this kind of stuff just doesn't have the energy to follow through, but you can't ignore it. You certainly can't be short. Um, and top side from just a technical perspective, purely from a chart perspective, looks like the side at risk here. Uh, I'm not telling, I'm not paying 66 and a quarters here, um, but I'm just saying this is this is risk on, which uh, brings us back to the currency space, uh, dollar yen. We've been eyeing this uh, 109.70 level now um, since October of last year. Uh, will we get a weekly engulfing, which will be through 50? I don't know. Let's go to the daily chart. Big bullish engulfer yesterday, obviously. Um, through 50 paid, through 63 paid. Uh, both were, seemed unlikely at the time, but um, they definitely paid. Can we get ready for 109.70? This is the question you have to answer. Uh, we think it's likely a non-farm level. Oftentimes these amazing levels are triggered um, over an event that make them very difficult to trade. So, uh, but get long dollar yen at your peril, right? I mean, this is obviously massive resistance. You know, it only really gets super bullish if we get through it. So there'll be a lot of people fading between 50 and 70. Uh, we won't be one of those people, but there will be people doing that. Cousin of dollar yen, dollar Swiss, uh, 97.44. Now a little double top. Bit of a trap break scenario. We got 70 resistance, and then we've got 96 resistance, but through 44 could lead to higher gains. Talked about Euro Swiss yesterday. Um, Perfect doji after uh, really looking like dog shit down there at 107.81. We were at the one standard deviation low for the weeklies down there. It held. Uh, and now here we are. Um, we like buying more Euro Swiss through 30 and then again through 60 um, with the idea that, okay, equities aren't going to just rip another 100 handles here, but. A lot of risk has been taken off the table. Um, a lot of geopolitical risk has been taken off the table. I don't begin to understand how or why um, the response from Iran was so pathetic. Uh, I don't want to get into that now, but let's just suffice it to say that state-sponsored stuff uh, looks to be back burner whether some of the satellite Shiite groups do anything um, that is a risk of course but um, I mean it really looks like America and Iran did a deal there or something and, and just said okay you do this I'll do this you do this I'll do this and everybody wins but who knows uh, above my pay grade point is uh, geopolitical risk is off the table now um, or it's less on the table, so Euro Swiss can go higher. Euro Yen um, just broke 44. 
will this thing um, first will it get through 50 it's 50 51 now um, but are we gonna reach these 122 50 key highs um, this would just be hysterically risk on if we if we get up that way so let's keep an eye uh, euro yen you can be long here um, what else dollar Swiss I think we talked about this we just talked about this euro Swiss we talked about euro Aussie uh, we don't like Australian dollars because of the fires it seems sort of obvious but um, it's it is what it is shits not good there um, and after thinking about it a lot, you know, they're going to lower rates. They're going to have a lot of um, new construction and, and some positives come out of these negative situations. But for those of you who have dealt with fire before, you'll know better than I. But it seems to me that fire is very psychologically difficult and also pract in a practical sense, very much more difficult to come back from. Um, and some of these other disaster type scenarios. Uh, I'm no expert. It's just something that I have a feeling for. So I'm just worried about Aussie dollar. I'm just worried about Australia in general. Um, this looks like a very fragile climate uh, in, a, in a global warming driven world. Anyway, uh, we like Euro Aussie higher. Um, and we will be selling rallies in Aussie dollar. So Aussie's at 75 here. You can just sell this thing between 90 and 20 uh, top side here. So uh, we're not using Aussie as a risk on metric um, at all. What else we got? We got polos today and in um, Canada. Obviously crude 10% from the highs yesterday got crushed trading around 60 bucks now uh, WTI top side dollar CAD looks at risk especially if he comes out dovish the problem is he's expected to come out dovish so just be careful with this um, you got 13 hours before Pollard speaks so let's have a relook at dollar CAD at the end of the day um, if we have energy as far as risk on and EM is concerned I just want to point this level out. Everyone knows I hate uh, buying RAND, but this is a pretty good level. Uh, we now have triple bottom here at, at uh, 14, 13, 70. If this risk on sticks, um, then there's no reason EM could continue higher. Take a look at this dollar turkey chart yesterday why anyone would buy Turkish Lira is beyond me but um, that is a bearish fucking bar my lord very close to the highs um, bang shit looks like it wants to go lower and as bad as things are in uh, South Africa they're way worse in, in Turkey um, I'm not laughing um, sorry anyway EM looks like it can head higher, especially if equities uh, stay above 3260. Um, that's all I got for you now. I mean, we've got uh, dollar yen topside, euro yen topside, dollar Swiss topside, euro Swiss topside. We're watching equities as a barometer. Uh, we got an industrial production out of uh, Germany today in an hour's time. And then we've got some minor stuff out in the U.S. Pullets tonight at 8 p.m. for those of you who have the energy. Uh, good luck out there, people. Tricky, tricky, tricky first week here. Um, let's stay the course, stay disciplined, and uh, go ahead and make some dough. Catch you tomorrow. Non-farm payrolls. Ciao.